Good afternoon. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I don't know when you'll see this because you're probably enjoying your Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm out walking, but that's how this all started at the beginning of the pandemic. I, uh, one day I was walking and there was something I thought that I'd like to share. And I just spoke into the phone and I've been doing it uh, ever since whenever I can. And I've enjoyed very much the responses I get. So if I want to start off, I'd say I'm thankful for the associations and insights and uh, kind words Holly and I have received during our difficult time of her transplant. So today the two of us are uh, kind of hermits and uh, I'm arranging some things and Holly is making us a, uh, a vegetarian dinner. Remember folks, if you take away the turkey, everything else is <laughs> a vegetable or a carbohydrate. And uh, it's, uh, it's a special time because uh, to borrow from Dickens, it's the uh, best of times and the worst of times. He was comparing two cities, tale of two cities, London and Paris. And we sort of have uh, this division, not divided between cities, not divided so much by location as it is by views among the people. And there are those who are encouraging uh, dissension and uh, taking extreme positions that are not empathetic or friendly or in the interest of the general welfare, who are not interested in democracy. And then there's the rest of us. And uh, the rest of us is the basis of a civilization, is the basis of having a family sitting around a dinner table uh, that feel free to talk about anything, including the present goings on, because that's who we are. And that's how we arrive at ways to approach these things. This is how we maintain our sanity. But I think it's been a real challenge in recent days for people who care to listen to the daily spillage of terrible news, people hurting and hating each other. It's quite a thing. I mean, even as I'm talking to you, uh, the frustration is so great among some that they invaded Macy's parade and literally glued their hands to the ground. And it's about the Middle East, I'm sure. And the parade walked around them. And I don't think there was anything violent involved. And I think they were arrested as good protesters are, <laughs> and went, went off to the Huskow. But we also see those who are clamoring for, well, coercion and, and patterns of uh, punishment for people who disagree with them. You know, and one obvious example, which has come out in the last day or so, is the fact of all those threats to the judge handling the civil case in New York and his law clerk. And they've doxed her, meaning that they circulated all her private information so people can harass her. And there are hundreds of pages of documents that form support for a motion to uh, put these things on the table and to address them in court. So we should uh, hug and embrace each other, enjoy a good meal, <laughs> and uh, figure out what we can do coming into the end of the year in our New Year's resolutions. This is a crazy time in America, but it's, uh, it's the time that tests our nature, that indicates to others what we're about, both at home and abroad, and that we are a worthy ally for anyone who wants to be free, who wants to be equal with others, who wants to make a difference for the better, who wants to explore the possibilities of doing wonderful things, and to meet that one standard of civilization, which is how do we treat our own? And right now it's uneven. But I think we can make it. I think we can put it together. So I give thanks uh, to know you in this uh, virtual relationship. And uh, I very much enjoy any responses I get, and I try to get back to many people, at least to signify that I read what they said. And I've learned things from that, and uh, I expect to continue doing this. I have a practice at law. I'm grateful for that. Great colleagues 
Holly and I have some wonderful animals. But we're not misled about the fact that it only takes a second for something to go wrong. Uh, it could be health. It could be a deer running in front of your car. But uh, whatever it is, the thing that makes us warriors is not some outdated notion that you'd see in a B-movie out of Hollywood. It is that we have the resolve to continue on to do what's right for ourselves, but for our families, for our friends, for our community, and for the nation. And so with those kinds of uh, short comments, <laughs> I'm going to continue walking so that I'm ready for the meal that Holly put together. All the best from the Cathedral of Trees. Bye-bye.